In this video, we're going to set up our preferences for ON1 HDR 2020. So whenever we open up HDR, we're met with this screen here, and this is just asking us which photo we would like to edit. Since we're not editing a photo in this tutorial, I'm just going to go to Open Sample Photo. Now we're inside ON1 HDR, and to access your preferences, just head up to your top bar, choose ON1 HDR, and then Preferences. If you're using a Windows computer, you can choose Edit, and then Preferences. In this general tab, we first have scrolling controls. So if you would like your scrolling controls to preview the zoom, preview pan, or modify your brush size, you can do that here. If you want to modify the background color behind your image when you're modifying it, you can modify the preview background color and choose whichever color you'd like. The accent color is going to modify the accent on the interface for whatever button is selected or highlighted. We then have application language. So if you want to choose a different language for the application, you can do that here. In our Plugins tab, we can modify how the files are saved whenever we send them into HDR from Lightroom. So we have our file type. So if we want to modify the file type, the default is PSD, but you can choose TIFF or JPEG. We then can modify the color space to change it from the default Adobe. We can choose sRGB or Profoto RGB. We can modify the bit depth, the resolution, and then below that, if you have Stack with Original selected, that's going to allow you to stack your edited photo with the original when you go back into Lightroom. In the System tab, we can modify how HDR is ran on our computer. I would recommend leaving your video card strength at high if you're using a newer computer. If you're using an older computer, I'd recommend just lowering this, kind of depending on which computer you're using. Also, whenever you pan around quickly inside HDR when you're zoomed in, it may blur the photograph a little bit to keep up with your panning. If you want to turn that off, you can just click this fast panning to disable it. Also, if you want to change the scratch folder location for your images, you can click move and you can choose your own custom scratch folder location. Once you have these settings applied the way you want them, just click OK. 